Continuing in Acts chapter 9, starting at verse 26. Saul was at Jerusalem. And when Saul was come to Jerusalem, he essayed to join himself to the disciples. But they were all afraid of him and believed not that he was a disciple. I would be a little leery myself, I think. Anyway, Barnabas, verse 27, But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles and declared unto them how he had seen the Lord in the way and that he had spoken to him and how he had preached boldly in Damascus in the name of Jesus. And he was with them coming in and going out at Jerusalem. Finally, they began to accept him. And he spake boldly in the name of the Lord Jesus and disputed against the Grecians. But they went about to slay him. Which, when the brethren knew, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him forth to Tarshish. Then had the churches rest throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria and were edified. Finally, the little flock is getting a little rest from all the persecution that they were under. They were under strong persecution. And walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of of the Holy Ghost, they were multiplied. Now, here we come with signs that the Jews required. And it came to pass, as Peter passed throughout all quarters, he came down and came down also to the saints were at Lydia, that which dwelt at Lydia. And there he found a certain man named Ananias, which had kept his bed eight years and was sick of palsy. And Peter said unto him, Ananias, Jesus Christ maketh thee whole, arise and make thy bed. And he arose immediately. And all that dwelt at Lydia and Sharon saw him and turned to the Lord. That's a miracle. That's one sign right there. The miracle days of the time when the little flock, in the time of the little flock. Now, verse 36, another sign, dark is restored to life. Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and alms deeds, which she did. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died, whom when they had washed, they laid her in an upper chamber. And forasmuch as Lydia was nigh to Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber, and all the widows stood by him weeping, and showing the coats and garments which Dorcas made while she was with them. But Peter put them all forth, and kneeling down and prayed, and turning him to the body, said, Tabitha, arise. And he opened her eyes. I'd like to see some of these so-called miracle workers today actually raise somebody from the dead. That time is not now. And when she saw Peter, she sat up, and he gave her his hand and lifted her up. And when he had called the saints and widows, he presented her alive. And it was known throughout all Joppa. And many believed in the Lord. 
And it came to pass that he tarried many days in Joppa with one Simon a tanner. The Jews required signs and they got them. And that concludes Acts chapter 9.